Hey everyone, Raj Stewart here for Reckoner with a look back at the tech news in the week that was April 15th to April 21st, 2018. An email from Tesla founder Elon Musk is making headlines this week as the company looks to ramp up production for its severely lagging Model 3. Tesla's factory will shift into production around the clock operating 24-7. To make it happen, Musk has stopped all work on the company's Gigafactory project and looks to begin hiring 400 new employees per week to hit a 4,000 car per week build target in May. Musk's email goes on to highlight the company's need for precision in each Model 3 and the desire to move on from contractors and suppliers who cannot meet his high and self-admitted potentially unreasonable standards. Intel has confirmed that it will be shuttering its new devices group, ceasing development on the well-received prototype AR glasses project known as Vaunt. In a statement from the company, Intel praised their work and their desire to continue innovating, but also highlighted the need to, quote, make tough choices when the market dynamics don't support further investment. Not to be left out on the nostalgia cash-in, Sega have returned from the hardware dead to announce the impending arrival of the Sega Mega Drive Mini. To ship later this year, the little is known about the mini console with pricing, dates and included games all to be confirmed at this stage. The console will be produced with hardware supplied by Sega licensed at Games who have previously worked with the company in other hardware ventures as well as with others such as Atari in the past. Chinese telecommunications manufacturer ZTE was dealt another blow by the US government after it was found to have sold equipment to both Iran and North Korea against US trade regulations. The US has now imposed a ban on American companies supplying ZTE with equipment or software including Qualcomm and Google, leaving the company without many needed components for its low-cost Android phones. Also banned in the UK, pressure is now being put on the Australian government to do the same, meaning many prepaid rebranded phones from Telstra and Optus would no longer be available as they are ZTE supplied. And finally, the Nintendo Labo kits have hit store shelves this week. Two packs are available, the variety kit which retails for Australian $99 and a robot kit for $119. The packs include cardboard templates that can be decorated and once assembled are combined with a Nintendo Switch to offer a variety of different experiences. For more information, a full hands-on review of Nintendo Labo and all of the kits, check out the Reckoner website right now. And that's it for another week. As always, be sure to subscribe and like the show on your listening slash viewing platform of choice. Jump on over to the Reckoner website for more news and exciting features and reviews. Also, be sure to check out our Instagram at ReckonerAU for news story updates as they happen. Have a great week and bye for now.